This is not the internet. This is the metaverse. Now normally I would say hello pioneers, but this video is for all the new people that wish to join the Pi Network. So let's start at the beginning and get you signed up. So to, to start with, uh, you need to download the Pi application. So you can either go to mindpi.com or if you search in your phone's uh, application store for Pi Network, uh, you'll get the Pi Network app and the Pi browser. So download both of those because you're going to need both. Next, when you start up the Pi application, uh, you'll get this screen. We're going to continue with phone number. Uh, select your country code and put in your phone number. Then set your password. Next, uh, put in your first name and last name. Now, make sure you use the same exact name as it's written on your ID documents because you know, we're going to be checking that later, so it needs to be an exact match. Um, when you choose your username, you know, put a bit of thought in it because this is a, an alias that will be mapped to your wallet address. You know, so uh, try and pick something cool. Now, uh, invitation code, if you don't have one, you can use mine. Um, and if you do use mine, you know, drop me a DM uh, in uh, Twitter or uh, Telegram and uh, say hello. Then you come to this screen, you can go through all these screens that will show you uh, around the application. And then you'll come here and you'll be mining immediately. Now, the mining session only lasts 24 hours. So every 24 hours it expires and the screen goes dark and then it highlights the lightning button. Press the lightning button and your session starts again and you, you will start mining again. Uh, you should get an alert, but if you're not sure and you, you want to know how long before the next mining session, press the lightning button again and uh, you can see at the top there, uh, it's got the mining session when it will end. Now we need to perform some verifications. So we need to do uh, the phone number and email and the Facebook one is optional. So if you go to the top left of the screen, you've got the three bars. Then I'll bring up the menu and select on profile. Uh, when you look down, you've got the phone number and the Facebook verification there. Click on verify for the phone number. Um, you're going to need to do this in order to uh, claim all the coins that you mine. So this one's mandatory. Uh, if you go to option two here, this is not the country you're from. Um, this is the country you're going to send an SMS to. So if you have trouble with the USA one, you can select another country. Uh, press on start and then it's going to open up an SMS. Uh, the code will be filled out already, so just push send. And when you return back, uh, the phone number will be all done. Next, we'll do the email. Um, so now we need to uh, fire up the Pi browser using that icon. Uh, first time you uh, start the browser, it needs to be uh, authenticated. So go to the menu again, Pi browser, uh, sign into the Pi browser, and then we get the home page. Uh, type in the URL the mind.py forward slash email and put your email address in and verify that. And once you're all done, then you should have all green ticks and uh, everything should be great. So now we need to go through the mainnet uh, checklists. So go into your menu, select mainnet, and then click on the mainnet checklist. And you'll see here checklist one. Uh, we've already downloaded the Pi browser and authenticated it. Checklist two, we now need to create a Pi wallet. So go back into the browser and click on wallet.py. Generate wallet. And here you'll be shown your uh, passphrase. This is the most important thing that you will have in the Pi network, right? Do not lose your passphrase, right? Write it down, 
right? I always recommend people to write this down on paper, right? You can take a screenshot if you want, but people lose them all the time. It's also connected to the internet. It's not the best practice. So get a piece of paper, write the passphrase down, and make sure you put it somewhere safe. Uh, on the next screen, you've got your wallet address. I like to write this down too, but it's not mandatory. And you should make your name uh, searchable because this is how people can pay you by name instead of uh, typing out the long address. Uh, when you go to the next screen, uh, you type in your passphrase again. That will unlock your wallet. You'll get 100 test pi to start with, so you can you know, play around with your friends. Uh, if you click on the pi test net, uh, there, uh, you get a drop down where you can select mainnet as well. If you click on settings, right, you can um, show your passphrase. This is great if you've set up the fingerprint or the um, face ID, right, because if you do happen to lose your passphrase and you can still log into your wallet, right, you can just come here, show your passphrase, write it down again. But if you do change your phone, those biometrics won't work. Uh, return to the home screen by clicking the icon, Pi icon at the top right and that will log you out of the wallet. When you come back you can see that we've got checklist 2 now. Now we need to confirm the Pi wallet so if you click on checklist 3 right, log into your Pi wallet using your passphrase that you just wrote down and the wallet will be confirmed. Next, we're going to commit our lockup settings. Um, if you go to the menu and mainnet and click on configure lockup rate, you come to this screen. Uh, if you don't want to lock up anything, you don't have to. Just uh, uncheck the tick mark at the top there and you can commit that. Um, if you do want to lock up something, you can move around the sliders and see what uh, changes in percentage you'll get. Um, I've been recommending to my earning team to lock up 90% uh, at three years. Um, if you want to know why, uh, you can just watch this video. Um, I explain it pretty well in there. But uh, other people have got different aspects. Um, and so you really got to make a decision for yourself here. Uh, once you commit that, uh, you just confirm it, and now you're all locked up. Uh, coming back here to the checklist, uh, you'll see that uh, the checklist 4 has now got a green tick against it. Next in line is the all-important KYC. Now, as a new pioneer, uh, you have to wait 30 days before you're eligible for an invite. And once that's passed, then you'll have to wait for an invitation. Um, this comes in the form of a pop-up screen on uh, your Pi application. Or, you know, sometimes uh, you won't get this though, so uh, you can always check the KYC app. Uh, if you click on that, uh, if you don't get an invitation, then you'll see this. However, if you uh, do receive one, then uh, you'll get this screen. So from here, you put in your uh, country. Um, there's three IDs that you can use, driver's license, national ID, or passport. We're going to use the driver's license here. Continue on. We're going to do all these checklists. Um, if you're not 18 yet, don't worry. Um, there will become a point in time. You can still mine. Um, you just won't be able to do your KYC yet until they uh, do their KYC upgrade, where a parent or guardian will uh, approve you. Continue on, we're going to do our IDs. The main important thing here is to do uh, take your pictures in landscape mode. Alright, so we're going to take a picture of the front, uh, front page, load that up, take a picture of the back of the ID, load that up. Um, next we've got to fill out all your uh, personal details, your address and all that type of thing. Fill all that out, and uh, next is a, uh, a liveness test for, with the camera. I haven't got a picture of that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. 
Uh, then you review your application and submit the and pay. You're gonna it's gonna cost you one pi to, to do it. Um, put the application in and you're all submitted. Uh, then if you go into that KYC application, you'll see that you've applied and it's under review. If you go into your checklists, uh, you'll see that checklist 5 is uh, now done and you're just waiting for the results. Checklist 7 is not available yet until you get your checklist 6. And once you're approved, then you're able to uh, authorize the main, uh, mainnet migration of your coins. So now we'll click on checklist 7. Uh, we're going to accept this. All right, we're going to sign into your wallet. And uh, that's all done. Now you've got checklist 7 done. So that's all the checklists done. It's not uh, an easy process, it's quite a few things to do, but uh, you know, it's not bad. This one here is where uh, you can check up on your wallet to see if you've been migrated. Now after you've had uh, all your uh, your wallet created and your claimable balances come across. Um, you have to wait 14 days um, to be uh, eligible to get the claim. So once you've passed your 14 days, come over here and uh, log into your wallet. Uh, under the Migrations tab, uh, you'll have one of your claimable balances will have a Move button. So click on the Move button and confirm that, and you're done. Right, and you finally got some uh, coins in your wallet that you can use on the mainnet, which is great. Um, if you go over to the migrations tab again, uh, any lockups that you've got, you'll be able to display there, and you'll be able to you can click on that as well and see when they expire. So that's the process. Um, it's quite a lot to it. There's a lot of checklists, a lot of things you have to do, the KYC and everything. Um, I hope that was good information for you. I hope you've uh, you know, been able to get through it quite easily and uh, successfully become a pioneer. Uh, so until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you later.